Today we're going to talk about the beetles, rocket boots, and that animal that keeps eating your trash. Let's talk about Rocket Raccoon. Everyone's favorite wise-cracking trash panda was initially inspired by the Beatles song Rocky Raccoon and was created by Bill Mantelow and Keith Geffen. He first appeared in Marvel Preview No. 7 in 1976 where he was just Rocky, but was given the full name Rocket Raccoon in The Incredible Hulk No. 271 in 1982. However, unlike the rest of the Guardians, Rocket didn't enjoy a long history in the comics, besides that only appearing in a few comics in the 80s and 90s, including his own four-issue limited series. Before taking a prominent role in the Annihilation Conquest limited series in 2006, which would lead to the formation of the new Guardians of the Galaxy in 2008. In his initial comics appearances, Rocky commands the starship Rack and Ruin along with his first mate, Wal Russ, who, you guessed it, is a walrus. They guarded the Keystone Quadrant, an isolated part of outer space space cut off from the rest of the universe by the Galatian Wall. He and Walrus came from the planet Halfworld, which was a colony for the mentally ill. Their patients were given animal companions who were genetically enhanced with advanced intelligence and bipedal movement, which explains Rocket's human-like nature. Among his powers are incredible military prowess and a pair of rocket skates that allowed him to fly. Because of course he could fly. Why military prowess was needed in an animal companion created to care for patients is unclear. During the Annihilation Conquest crossover series, which we briefly discussed before, Rocket was recruited by Star-Lord to stop Flanix from infiltrating the Kree homeworld, where he met many of his future team members in the Guardians of the Galaxy, including Groot, with whom he struck up a close friendship. After the events of that series are over, he is invited by Star-Lord to join the Guardians, and in fact, it is Rocket who comes up with the name. In the film series, of course, Rocket's origins are much less sunny than being a support animal for hospital patients, surprisingly enough. In the movie continuity, Rocket is actually a lab experiment labeled 89P13, an ordinary raccoon who underwent extensive cybernetic and genetic enhancements to walk on two legs and talk like a human. Instead of being named Rocket Raccoon, he just goes by Rocket and does not appreciate being called a raccoon. However, he is still incredibly resourceful and loves to crack wise, just like in the comics. Unfortunately, he lacks the Rocket skill of the original character. One of the most important things comic and movie Rocket have in common, of course, is their close friendship with Groot. In Annihilation Conquest, just as in the first movie, spoiler alert, Groot sacrifices himself to save his friends, and Rocket keeps a sampling to regrow him. This actually happens several times in the comics, Rocket continually regrowing new Groots out of broken branches and twigs from destroyed versions of the old Groot. For a brief period of time, Groot and Rocket go on a side adventure returning to Halfworld to ensure that the evil supervillain Star Thief could never be released from there. Ask your doctor if Patreon.com slash Fancy Geeks is right for you. You can support the channel at Patreon.com slash Fancy Geeks, get a video made on a comic or a character of your choice, even a single dollar helps. That's Patreon.com slash Fancy Geeks. Now this is actually true, use at your own risk. I will make you a video though, avoid we're prohibited by law. Side effects may include headache, nausea, vomiting, death, dizziness, YouTube buffering, and dysentery. Use only as directed. In both the comic and movie versions of the Guardians, Rocket comes across as a secondary leader to the team. In fact, in runs of the Guardians comic where Star-Lord is off on a mission or presumed missing, it is Rocket who takes over leadership of the team. He may be small, but no matter the medium, Rocket proves himself a valuable member of the Guardians of the Galaxy. So jump down to the comments section below and let me know. Uh, do you want the MCU's Rocket Raccoon to have rocket skates? Who's your favorite Guardian of the Galaxy? Have you ever read any of the classic Guardians of the Galaxy? Comics. Until next time, please click subscribe and ring that bell so that you get notified when we release a new video, and please share this video on sites like Reddit, Facebook, and Twitter. If you didn't like this video, then let me know by clicking the thumbs down button, and likewise, if you did like it, then hit thumbs up. And a super special thank you to Lauren Alexandra, Sleepy Hollow, Josh Gallagher, and all the other sexy people scrolling on screen right now. Please be kind to each other. I'm Jay Parks.